Good morning, everybody. Today, Aubrey and Cole are having Cheerios for breakfast. So, my morning starts off with getting the kids ready for breakfast. And then, I come over and sit in my chair and do some devotions. Um, here's my very, um, here's my very, um, unstaged basket. This is exactly what it looks like. Cole was playing with that yesterday, the star. Um, I've started using my Imagine Notebook for uh, taking notes and prayer, writing put down prayers during my time. And this is my Bible. And then this is actually where we're just keeping the Bibles right now. And any kind of um, books or important things. And then some really random things. Aubrey tends to come and get dressed here in the living room um, when she's getting ready for school. So I just actually have this hairbrush left over from yesterday and you know, random junk ends up in here. It's usually a pen, but there's not today. Oh well. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I do while the kids are eating. Oh, there it is. One thing that I'm doing right now for my... Um, devotion time and it fits in really well with my time period right now there's an app called the first five app let me just get on here a second <laughs> um, it's put on by Proverbs 31 ministries so I have a little folder here for faith I actually deleted several of my apps the other day because I was trying to take a video of Aubrey I didn't have or a picture, I think it was. I don't remember. I am so very tired this morning. I was trying to take a picture, and I needed to delete a bunch of stuff. So I deleted some apps, and I have a few others. Maybe I'll show you what's on my iPad someday. But anyways, this first five app, it basically um, goes through... We're working through Leviticus and Hebrews right now, and it has been so eye-opening. There are um, devotions every day and um, a community of women like you can write comments and different things um, it's just been really really good and so we've been walking through the old testament and once they got to Le leviticus like if you know anything about the bible and about leviticus it's very much old time um rules and laws and different things like that that a lot of things just don't really apply today like ceremonial laws and sacrifices and like all kinds of stuff but they paired it with Hebrews and um, just have really shown how still those things can apply to us today um, I don't know it's just really hard to explain because I'm very tired at this moment but um, it's really good so anyways I'm just gonna kind of read a bit while the kids are finishing breakfast um, Aubrey needs to actually start getting ready here in the next few minutes and then uh, get ready for her school day. Oh, hey guys. I just kind of threw my hair up. Um, I just got done doing my makeup. I didn't have time to fix my hair. So this is what I, <laughs> this is what I did while I was doing my makeup so I could just get it out of my face. It's kind of just a stay-at-home day today, um, so I'll probably do something with my hair, but for now it's just looking like this. <laughs> Colt woke up from his nap, so I'm going to go grab him and we're going to go have some lunch. Um, I'll show you kind of what I was working on throughout the day. It was kind of a big business sort of planning day for me, so I'll show you a few things that I was working on, and we will get on with this day. I thought I'd give you a look at real life, messy life. <laughs> um, we, Colt was playing with his toys before his nap, so we did not get them put away before he went to sleep. So this is kind of what life looks like. Um, very real. This is what it is. Hopefully you can relate. Probably you can relate because I think a lot of us have these sort of messes and we're very afraid to show other people that mess. But really when we see somebody else who has it, we're like, Oh good, I'm not the only one. So this is our very real messy life. And then um, a little more mess for you. This is the living room. We've got toys here on the floor. 
We've got laundry on the love seat, blanket left out from last night. Shane tends to fall asleep on the couch. We watch um, our TV shows in the evening, and he always falls asleep before the show is over, so I'm usually the last one to go to sleep. Sometimes he'll wake up off the couch when I try and get him up. Other times he doesn't. Last night he did, but we didn't put the blanket away, and I certainly didn't put clothes or towels away yet. So this is kind of our real-life mess that we've got going on this morning. Well, I guess it's now afternoon. So the goal is, is that all of this will be tidied up at the end of the day. We don't worry or fret too much about all of this stuff being out. If someone were to pop over, would I be embarrassed? Yeah, probably. But this is just really real life. I'm a stay-at-home mom, I'm a work-at-home mom, and my home is designed to be lived in and well-loved, and that is kind of the theme of <laughs> what I just want. I want my family to feel comfortable here, and I want people to feel comfortable here. I don't want them to feel like they're coming to a museum and they need to be um, nervous and scared to get anything out of place. This is just very real life, come hang out, push over a pile of clothes, and you are welcome here. So that is our life. So this is kind of my work area for the day. I have um, my iPad and phone. I've got my um, notebook, and inside of this bag, I can show you in this later, but this is where I have my planner. I've got binders and notebooks. I have this little bag that has, I kind of showed you guys this before, but it's got a whole bunch of things and books that I towed around the house with me. I've got um, this bag, a Sensi Director bag with um, a bunch of notebooks and things like that in it. And then these binders here, these are filled with notebooks that um, <laughs> I, I, I write notes like crazy. Um, and so those binders and notebooks are filled with um training notes and um, simulcast notes and conference notes um, all about things that I've learned about my business. So um, I'm kind of in this period of time where I'm dreaming new dreams for my business and dreaming about what the next step is. Um, currently I am two levels away from the highest up in the company and I have big goals of actually being at the top of our company. And I know it's a completely attainable, but I need to learn to lead small and lead well with the team that I have right now. So um, that's just kind of what I've been working on this morning. I'm on my second cup of coffee. I'm doing my best to get my water in. I need to fill that up. So these are some of my notes for the spring simulcast that we are doing on um, Saturday. So... Um, so I'm sort of using these pages as a brain dump for the party. Um, I've figured out some areas that I want to concentrate on. Um, and then I have just went through and made sure that I am writing down everything that I need to remember for that day and the day prior. So the kids schedule because they are not going to be here. They're going to go to their grandparents' house, so I just need to remember all the things that uh, I need to have packed up for them, the technology that I need to actually make the simulcast happen, um, things I want to have with my home decor. I'm not really changing anything, but um, these are just some of the things that I want to make sure are kind of... Um, that people are feeling within my home. There are people that are coming that I actually don't even know. So um, yeah, I just want it to be kind of warm and welcoming for people. And then I went through and have determined like the drinks and all the things I'll need for the drinks um, and then the food. So we will actually have a breakfast and a lunch. So I've kind of gone through and figured out what we're gonna do for breakfast. I think we'll do sort of a yogurt and fruit bar with a sour cream coffee cake. And then for lunch, I'm gonna do Subway subs with all the fixings, some chocolate chip cookies that I'll make, a salad, pretzels and chips. And um, then I went through and was trying to figure out um, the subs that I'll need from Subway to kind of give a good variety and all of that jazz. So that's kind of a look at some of what I'm doing. I still need to write down everything I wanna make sure that is cleaned. I will be, do a big clean on my house on Friday night, but um, I want to just write all of that down to make sure that I have everything going. And of course, I'm like doing, moving my hand because I am a hand talker, like 
a hand, a hand talker. So if I'm shaky, I'm sorry. It's just because I'm literally imagining you right here and I'm using my hands as I talk. <laughs> So I'm a member of the Happy Housewives Facebook group and the question was brought up about hanging out your laundry to dry. And before we renovated our home, we did hang our laundry out. We had like a clothesline and whatnot, um, but it got taken down with the renovation. So I'm going to like implore Shane to hang up a clothesline for us again this summer because I absolutely love to have my laundry hanging out. But I just, um, I took a picture of my laundry, my clothespin bag to post on the group and I thought I'd share, share it with you guys because I, I think it's so cute and I thought you guys would like it. But um, yeah, it's just little lingerie uh, items. <laughs> my mom made this for me. She, um, she sews and she's absolutely incredible. So anyways, I just thought that was kind of a cute, fun homemaking sort of thing.